my parents chose their new families over me so I moved in with my aunt. Now they want back in. But I hate them so I 16. Moved in with my aunt at 15 because my parents remarried and had new families. My father married his mistress who already had a son and now they have a baby daughter. My mom remarried my stepdad and they had my half-sister. After all that I became a secondary character in their life and they looked forward to ship me off to the other home so they could pretend that I didn't exist and play happy family. After a year I became fed up and started sleeping over more and more at other houses and when home I would never interact with anyone. Both my parents took that as a rebellious phase and would fight with me all the time. I wasn't a bad kid or a troublemake but soon I was labeled as the black sheep of the family. Every interaction with my parents became a lecture about my attitude problem and how well the other kids behaved. I was just so fed up that I packety shit and disappeared for a few days. I took a bus and went MIA for four days. Of course the police was called and when I appeared again I hit another lecture. We got in a screaming match where they called me a disappointment and I told them I hated them. I called my aunt crying and she came to fetch me. In the car I could hear how she was tearing my parents a new one. Neither of them tried to convince me of coming back home. We informed the respective authorities about my changed living condition and my aunt is my current guardian. My parents ways half-assed our contact. Appearing only when it was convenient sometimes giving me money etc. Recently they tried to build more contact up but I was not interested. I won a story writing contest and didn't tell them nor did I invite them to the celebration. And on the website where you can read my story the thanks goes to my aunt for loving me unconditionally. I didn't invite my parents to my sweet 16 party. Basically I have cut them out of my life. I am not interested in their lives or families or anything. Mom tried to meet up for my birthday but we didn't. She got upset and called me crying and. I just didn't care. It was like listening to a TV character cry. It wasn't important she isn't important to me anymore. Dad called me and said he was worried about me and how my reaction is not healthy and again I didn't care. As far as I am concerned my aunt is my only parent. She encourages that I build up my relationship to my parents again but doesn't force me. Anyway yesterday my parents pulled me out of school and invited me to eat at our old favorite place. Mom had tears in her eyes and even dad seemed hurt. They tried apologizing for their behavior and pleaded with me to come back and I just said no and left. I still resent them for choosing a new life over me. But I don't know if I am being a pretty asshole or what to do now. I don't want them in my life but would I be making the right choice? Ike. Edit. Because people think O oh, just made it up and I am a moody teen. You know when you are at a friend's house where their parents don't particularly like you and you feel tense all the time and you feel like you shouldn't be there? That was the feeling I constantly had at their houses. I know that my stepfather doesn't like me that much. My parents would both fight about who keeps me longer. But not in the sense I want to have her longer but I took her last weekend. It's your turn. Also planning fun activities for the day after I leave. My father and his wife would often schedule visits to the parks or bigger trips specifically to the weeks my mother had me and my mother and her husband would leave me alone at home so they could go out with the baby. Every chance they got they would ship me up to grandma's or my aunt's place with some excuse and then do family stuff. Also when you went trough the houses there were barely any pictures of me. They had big ass portraits of my siblings and them together but almost none of mine. They shipped me off to my grandma's and grandpa's for a whole summer and only called twice. When there are family functions I am often excludes. E. G. My dad had a family barbecue and didn't invite me. They forgot my birthday on more than one occasion and when they remembered they got me a $10 Starbucks gift card even when they know I don't like Starbucks. So no they never straight up said it but they didn't hide it either. Let's start the second one my husband confessed that he has been having an emotional affair and it's breaking me I've married my husband for 9 years we have a son together. Last week he confessed to me that he thinks he has started an emotional affair with a co-worker of his. He said that this has been going on for a few months and he didn't felt guilty. He said that he never touched her romantically, but he had feelings for both of us. He said he of course would choose me over any woman but still I've been hurting since I found this it and I don't know what to do. The girl is in her mid-twenties, she hasn't had any kids, she's so pretty and she has a piece of his heart. 
I don't know what I've been doing wrong for him to catch feelings for another woman. This is devastating to me. Honestly I'd rather he had just fed her and had no feelings for her whatsoever. That would be easier. I don't know how I can get past this. We have a family that I don't want to break up and I still love him, and he's ending everything with her, but now I feel broken. I don't even know if I can trust him again. I don't know what to do. Edit. I got preoccupied after I made this post. He said he did not feel guilty because it was an accident and he didn't intend for anything to go as far as it did. There were a lot of messages exchanged between them and he said they went on two dates. He also said that they stayed and shared nudes but there was nothing physical. He said he'd end the affair but right now we can't afford for him to quit the job. He said that he was going to stop seeing her outside of work and said he has already blocked her on everything. I've married my husband for nine years we have a son together. Last week he confessed to me that he thinks he has started an emotional affair with a co-worker of his. He said that this has been going on for a few months and he didn't felt guilty. He said that he never touched her romantically, but he had feelings for both of us. He said he of course would choose me over any woman but still I've been hurting since I found this it and I don't know what to do. The girl is in her mid-twenties, she hasn't had any kids, she's so pretty and she has a piece of his heart. I don't know what I've been doing wrong for him to catch feelings for another woman. This is devastating to me. Honestly I'd rather he had just fed her and had no feelings for her whatsoever. That would be easier. I don't know how I can get past this. We have a family that I don't want to break up and I still love him, and he's ending everything with her, but now I feel broken. I don't even know if I can trust him again. I don't know what to do. Edit. I got preoccupied after I made this post. He said he did not feel guilty because it was an accident and he didn't intend for anything to go as far as it did. There were a lot of messages exchanged between them and he said they went on two dates. He also said that they stayed and shared nudes but there was nothing physical. He said he'd end the affair but right now we can't afford for him to quit the job. He said that he was going to stop seeing her outside of work and said he has already blocked her on everything.